to the end. It is on our pals. That we do. Depend. Oh, where? 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 where would, would I, I be? be? If he's out. My friend. Well, who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Auckland Live presents an Adelaide-based windmill theatre company production which argues that Wolfie is the most misunderstood character in classic fairy tale history. multi Heltman Award-nominated director Rosemary Myers and performers Patrick Graham and Emma J. Hawkins are here to tell us exactly why. Welcome, guys. Thank you very Thank much. You for us. Really nice to have you here. Um, so let's get straight to the point. Are, are you trying to tell us that Wolfie is actually a vegetarian poetry reading wolf that has fallen victim to just a load of bad press. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, even even amongst his own crew he's a bit of an outsider so he's pretty adorable and a, a gorgeous character but a bit of a loner because obviously he doesn't fit with the rest of the wolf pack. Mm. Right so you're going to help us understand that Wolfie actually has a good character doesn't he? There's some good sides to him. Does he still have the sharp teeth? He's oh, still yes. got the teeth yeah yeah yeah, yeah. still got the teeth still got the tail. Got the pointy ears. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still got all the wolf like stuff he's just a very nice wolf. That's that's right. And it's the same wolf, wolves can't be, wolfies, wolf, yeah. wolves, <laughs> can't be nice. Um, now Emma, you play a character called Heidi Hood, who I actually do. befriends Wolfie. Tell us about that. Uh, because, well, Heidi's all about winning trophies, <laughs> and she has to win this amazing last trophy, which is writing poetry. <laughs> and Heidi can't write poetry. <laughs> and guess what? Wolfie can write poetry. So we befriend each other, and he yeah. helps me win my amazing There's a, a lost trophy. toothbrush brings them together. Yeah. And, um, Who would have thought it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Who would have thought it? But that is the great thing about the production company, Wimmel Theatre Company, Rosemary, described in Australia as the, you know, the go-to for children's theatre. So, so uh, tell us a bit more about your production company. Well, we work, um, we make, we specialise in making work for young audiences. So we make work for under five-year-olds, family audiences. We tour. I mean, this production, for example, has toured three months in the US. And um, so we, yeah. we tour our work a lot all around the world and you have made, made movies so we're a small company but we uh, get to get to travel quite a lot and yeah I think we, we, we're, we're really about you know this is a brilliant audience to make theatre for because their their imaginations are just so mm. active and that's actually quite liberating for a group of artists that yeah, love to absolutely. tell stories and love to have heaps of fun we have talking couches in this show and just some brilliant poetry <laughs> yeah. and but but yeah I, I think it's when you're working with an audience that has that great imagination that is very exciting for a group of makers. I wanted to ask you about the set so you've got a talking couch what else is on the set it's quite creative isn't it? Yeah it's a beautiful set by a designer called Jonathan Oxlade who we work with and work with and he also is very kind of magical and beautiful mm. so it's a forest and then Heidi Hood has a little house and Wolfie yeah. has his own tree house but there's also some brilliant puppets and things that feature in the show as well. And Emma there are some serious messages in this production as well. Oh absolutely it's um, about finding friends in unlikely places like obviously Heidi Hood and a wolf wouldn't necessarily have thought they'd be friends so yeah it's quite a lovely they, idea. They have to keep their friendship hidden away. For a little, yeah. <laughs> So then you're not, so you play the wolf, so you're not the baddie. Is there an actual baddie in oh, the production? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, wolf, there is. the wolf mother. Wolf mother. mother. Yeah, yeah. So wolf he's, master. He's a, wolf master, yeah. He's pretty, pretty, pretty stern mum mm. <coughs> in the production. But you no, get I mean, told off a bit. And very though, disappointed yeah. by her son, you know, yeah. who hasn't lived up to the expectations. Maybe she's just trying to do what's best for her son. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sure yeah. she is. Yeah. She, she inadvertently <laughs> is a great rhymer as well. <laughs> and, you know, you mentioned before, Rosemary, that you tour this around the world. So mm. for, for the cast members, is it different when you go to different areas? Do, the, do you have to adapt the storyline or do they all laugh at the same place? Do they all get the gag, so to speak? Yeah, I think it's yeah. been pretty universal in because that way. Yeah. There's a lot of physical humour in the show, which is universal, so all kids understand a fart joke, for instance, yeah. go over everywhere. <laughs> Farts are always funny. The, yeah. the, a couple of times in New Jersey, <laughs> we were laughing about it before, a couple of times in New Jersey there was a bit of like... Yeah. Really, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> you think that's funny? You know? yeah. <laughs> we had a flea with a New Jersey accent yeah. in the show, yeah, 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 so yeah. a little flea. So, uh, yeah. You played in Hong Kong as well, um, around Asia, Japan, Scotland, yes. and on Broadway. I mean, that's quite a diverse audience that you've been catering to. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's true. I mean, that that. I mean, it's a. This is a show all about 
friendship and about not judging a book by its cover and mm. it is very playful and very very funny mm. and and the characters are actually quite adorable and um, <laughs> we've been very lucky because we made the show how many years ago now Five? And, and you know obviously Patty and Emma are very integral to the show and their physical work together is quite wonderful so we've been lucky to have them be able to return every season to play those roles yeah and, and Patrick how does how do the children react to, to Wolfie do they get scared yeah they are a little bit at first especially some of the younger ones and then uh, you know you yeah, win them over yeah that's yeah. right yeah, yeah pretty quick pretty quickly pretty quickly <laughs> yeah yeah I think there's you know you hear the odd kid going oh mum why really why, <laughs> why did you bring me here and then it's you know pretty pretty soon after mm. because uh, Wolfie, Wolfie's actually minutes, he's really. actually scared of the audience himself so we yeah, kind of turn yeah, the yeah. tables a little bit oh, that way yes. oh excellent yeah, yeah. Yeah. and the thing with kids too is that they're <coughs> such a uh, demanding audience it's like a really great audience but they're yeah. quite demanding as well Absolutely. so and they're honest it, like if they don't like very them. honest I gotta tell you so if yeah. you can keep them all <laughs> enthralled then well done you hey thank you so much all for hey, stopping yeah. by yeah. Um, yeah. Thank thank you. Thank you. Auckland Live Kids presents Windmills Big Bad Wolf which plays from today through until Saturday at the Bruce Mason Centre you can check out the Auckland Live website for ticket detail.